Breaking news, at least 18 people are dead after Islamic extremists seize a hotel in Mali, taking scores of hostages. The hotel is popular with Westerners and several Americans were staying there. Craig Boswell reports for WJZ, U.S. forces are involved in the rescue operation that just came to an end. Freed hostages ran for safety in Mali's capital after 10 suspected Islamic extremists ambushed the Radisson Blue Hotel. The group, armed with guns and grenades, stormed the hotel and took 170 people hostage. All are now safe. Witnesses say the men shouted, God is great, in Arabic during their assault. A senior U.S. official told CBS News Americans were registered at the hotel, including employees of the State Department and the embassy. Mali is a former French colony, and today's violence comes just one week after the terror attacks in Paris. President Obama was asked about the siege during a meeting in Malaysia. We're monitoring the situation. U.S. and French forces stationed in the West African nation helped Mali's military free the hostages. The hotel is popular with foreigners. Employees with Air France and Turkish Airlines were staying there. Two terror groups linked to Al-Qaeda are claiming responsibility for the deadly siege. Craig Boswell, WJZ Eyewitness News. And just moments ago, Malian State Television announced there are no more hostages in the hotel. Soldiers are going through the building looking for other victims and any terrorists who may be hiding.